you, talking to 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 you, talking Let's bring yeah, the card you know down why? Because this is one of them cards that people quick. been asking for. Tell me why. Tell me why. Man. Oh no, you, you Danny, you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Hold Let's, on, hold yeah, on. Hey, 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 as, as this, you good now? You good now? As far as this card, the strike. Uh, <laughs> Beasley Petty fuck for that too, man. That trailer was that was some goddamn. He that nigga, Jesus, he called niggas zombies and and goddamn. What the? Hey fuck? man, he, Beasley he, the fucking goat, man. He's a marketing goat. I don't. I mean, Jesus it, I love it, man. Like, okay, so so yesterday, I see ARP uh, when he announced that K Shine was on the car. It was like. Uh, he said it only gets darker from here. I don't know if that was like a subliminal, you know, maybe he was just promoting his car. It only gets dark from here. But, it's, 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 you know, the beef been out in the open. The beef been out in the open. Mm-hmm. But then if you look at the URL, the, the trailer that just dropped today, you'll see that the thumbnail of all thumbnails they could have used is the one where the, the fan is wearing the shirt that says URL versus everybody. That's the that's the thumbnail they picked. They that that wasn't by mistake. They picked that. You are almost everybody as the thumbnail. DJ. Oh, it, it, it's it's a, it's a clear it's a clear statement. It's a clear shot, and it's it's petty. It's it's just it's just marketing genius, man. Like I was saying, like URL know how to take any situation and turn it into their favor. So it don't matter what you say. You can say, uh. You, anything could come out. Let's say, uh, let's say Beasley gets knocked out. Somebody sneaks Beasley. Somebody just sneaks Beasley. Beasley gonna take that shit in stride, and the next car gonna be called uh, the the sneak, the knockout. He gonna he he don't care. Like he he that type of nigga. Like you can't do nothing to like like downplay them or make them look bad. Because all he gonna do is just turn it around and use it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and you know what, Dan, I don't know if he went to school situation. for that. I don't know if he was, a, huh? The oh, like the whole the uh, whole strike uh, uh, situation. Period. Yeah. Um. Well, well, obviously it's not even a situation anymore. I definitely well, think yeah. uh, there was some there were some great points brought up. You know, during okay. that little period when it was, you know, there was a lot of great points about you know battles being, you know, the battles being held up. Uh, you know, you know, uh, they want more money. They should, you know, like I said, man, I got, I got paid a, a, a deposit for the beat out battle. Then I got a, a month later, I got another check for, for the pay per view sales. And me and beat out both oh. got paid, you know, twice essentially for the same battle. And it was the first and only time that that ever happened to me. And I was like, yo, this is how we should be getting paid all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this. Is okay, how wait we, a minute. Wait be, a minute. Like, so you. Hold on, I'm lost. So you this is what paid, I said. That's how I feel. You got, you, you got paid your deposit, and you got paid you, you got paid a regular price, and then you got paid again because it was on pay per view. Yeah, we got a piece of the pay per view sales. We sure did. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we didn't get. I'm sure we didn't get. I'm sure we didn't get what the, they got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on, you know what I'm saying on the pay per view sales, but. That that another fifteen hundred dollars, you know, ain't it ain't hurting. It was, you know, this like oh shit, did I get know. another fifteen hundred? Another fifteen hundred a month later? That never happened before. You know what I'm saying? Like that never happened before or after. So I was like, yo, this is how we should be getting paid if if pay per view was involved and, and they getting another check. Shit, they getting a check. Shit, we should get a, a little piece of that too. It don't have to be ridiculous amounts of money like oh we we want ten thousand and fifteen like nah that's not even feasible you know what I'm saying that's not I don't think that's feasible you know what I'm saying I'm not sure how all the the monetary breakdown is and all that shit I'm not an accountant but 
you know, I, the the Balor, which which is the paid work for hire, ain't never going to make more than the the league. You know, so we're not going to make more than the, the owners. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's why we have opportunities to do it ourselves, like John John Arsenal. Motherfuckers got their own league. So we can't complain about shit. Like, we can go, go we can do our own shit. We can throw our own events and make and make all the bread. You know what I'm saying? So, but but that experience right there, getting that other check from pay-per-view sales, it was like, damn, this should be standard practice. You know what I'm saying? This I mean, it be might be. Practice. I didn't even know you got. I didn't even know that even happened. That might be. Yeah. Because if niggas, yeah. if that's what's you know going what on, then I don't even see what the point of the strike was. If niggas, is, that means niggas is getting paid because it's pay-per-view. If yeah. Extra, no, I don't know. I see that's not involved. standard. Like nah, that's not oh. standard. That's like that don't that don't happen for everybody. Like that's what and then I remember oh. when Lux was I remember when Lux was battling Hollow and I believe he wanted like he negotiated like some pay per view back in, you know, as a part of the you know, the deal. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that should just we shouldn't even have to negotiate that. Like that should just automatically be in the contract. Like you're gonna get a deposit you're gonna get your back in, and then we're gonna throw you another something off off the pay per view. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that number might be. You know what I'm saying? But something would be fine. Something would be fine, even if it was 500 bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just. I think it should be because, like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all making money on you know ticket sales, door sales, and then you getting money on pay per view, maybe we should get something else. You know what I'm saying? Because like I, like I said, this is one of the one, this is one of the one entertainment industries where it ain't really no residuals for the for the artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like when I was talking with Snoop, Snoop was like, "Damn, y'all niggas, you telling me y'all niggas got a rap? Y'all get to rap these rounds one time and that's it? You can't you can't say the same rounds at in another city?" We was like, "No, what the fuck is you talking about, Snoop? Like, this is, that's not how battle rap works." He was amazed, like he was he was mind blown. He was like, "Wait a minute." You tell me you gotta write new raps every time you go to a different city? We was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, nigga, I could perform any one of my songs from 20 years ago and, and go get a check forever. Mm-hmm. I say, yeah, but we can't go. I can't go and battle B dot with our same three rounds in Cleveland, and then we leave, get on a tour bus, and we go to to Chicago and say the same three rounds in that city. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So he thought that was just standard practice. It's not. We really do more work. We do more work and get paid the less out of hip-hop artists. Because we still hip-hop artists. This is is, is a sub-genre of of hip-hop. That'll rap is. This is a sub-genre of hip-hop. It's still hip-hop at its essence, as a matter of fucking fact. (laughs) But we work the hardest. Purest form, we work the hardest and get paid the least. That's what I think ultimately that's what the strike really is about. It, it, ultimately, you okay. know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, man, we, we, we got to, we're, we're saying the equivalent of a whole song in one single round. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We sing a whole hip hop song, 316, 316, 16 bars, hook, 16 bars, hook, 16 bars, hook. That's the song. We're saying those three sixteens as our first round. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Then we gotta do our second round. Then we gotta do our third round. Another three sixteens and another three sixteen. We're writing nine sixteen bars for one battle. And we're getting paid one time for it. There ain't no residuals. Ain't no nothing else. You get you get your deposit, get your back end, that's it. Move on. Meanwhile, you know, YouTube checks. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, I know YouTube has right up or whatever, but they still make it some money. We don't get none of that YouTube money after the battle, after the fact. So I get the idea of the union. I get the idea of getting paid more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it definitely got to be some changes, but uh, they just got to go about it, and they need to just sit down and figure this shit out. Because it's not no easy thing. This is all subjective, and it's new. It's the, even these new these ideas are new. Like, this ain't really... This shit we've been talking about for years, like Hitman said, because Hitman did have a lot of valid points. I'm a battler, too, so I, I know I can see both sides. You feel me? I can see both sides. Okay. 
Okay. But uh, some of that shit was, some of the stuff was unrealistic. And some of the shit was realistic. And that was just about a middle ground. It's about let the leagues and the battles come together. And so, like, I I propose that battles should get a piece of the pay-per-view just standard. Like, that should just automatically already be there. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Regardless of the number. I don't care. Like I said, I don't care if it was another, if it was 100 bucks. Like, yo, we sending you another, we're going to put uh, 300 in your PayPal. We just got the check for the for the uh, pay per view shit. Every baller that was on the card is getting, you know, another piece of the money. Aside from yeah, y'all standard was... feet, niggas ain't breaking mm-hmm. bread like uh, that. Uh, it's a like, piece we, you don't even we... see coming. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that that part of the game ain't ain't standard yet. So, but we ain't there but yet. This is why I that, I, I, that's why this I would is... like to see it go. This is why I said, even though it looks like the strike didn't work because they, they everybody like they backed out of it in like fucking five hours, you know what I'm saying? I still right. feel like them two shows that had all them artists on, two shows we had up here, it opened up a big, a big thing that should have been said. You had the you had the the batters who was on strike, and then you had the OGs call up and say and, and explain to them why they shouldn't be on strike. I think that was good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was a great conversation. Yeah. You know, it, like I said, it's, it's but, really got to, we got to find that, that ground, man. We got to have those conversations. I, I love the I, fact I, that T-Top and Hitman opened that whole thing up. They probably went about fact. it the wrong way for sure. I think they did go about it the wrong way for sure. But, you know, that is a conversation that... That needed to happen, and it might lead to change. So you, you're not going to get change until conversation happens. If nobody never exactly. saying nothing, then things are just always going to continue the way they they standardly go. You know what I'm saying? Things are always you happen the way they always too, happen, and nobody you, says nothing. You niggas is you niggas is all <laughs> fucking welcome too, because it happened up Thank here. You, you man. niggas is welcome. Nah, nah, nah. nah I appreciate sh- you. Right, your niggas are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk about shit too, now. Come on. What? Nah, I ain't go front. I, I, heard, I heard your voice in the trailer. I was like, damn, this nigga really, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga really be, like, getting shit shaking. Like, he really be contributing to a lot of the shit that be happening. You know, on scene, off behind the scenes. Like, you really have done a lot of good shit, too. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just I want to salute you. I, I don't hear that shit enough, man. I just hear the bad shit. I, I niggas never point a pinpoint right. the good shit that I be doing for the culture, man. They always be trying to flame me and shit. I don't be doing nothing good and shit, man. You know what I'm talking to you. 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 Talking to you.